brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today is Monday, June the 13th, and I'm going to share with you, I can say, most of the visions that were given uh, yesterday, Sunday, June the 12th. Now, please remember that we are getting closer and closer to the day of going home. So we must be ready to remember the two greatest commandments of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ and make sure we take the commandment into action. That is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So each day we move along the path of righteousness into holiness. Now today we still have, I think it's about 47 days, right? So now, today is 13, 13, 17, 17 plus 28, 45, 46 days. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to read uh, from the daily break. It's the Chinese on daily break. It's talking about God's action. God's action. Actually, this uh, scripture reminds us that the second time is going to happen real soon. Okay? But don't get nervous. Actually, uh, I have a lot of uh, comforting word to tell everybody what the Lord revealed to me many years ago. Now, Exodus chapter 12, verse 24 to 28, but I would like to add 29, okay? Now, Exodus chapter 12, verse 24 to 28, and then plus another one, 29. Now, uh let me read okay so remember exodus chapter 12 20 verse 24 obey this instruction as the lord say obey this instruction as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants okay say to uh, moses and aaron when you enter the land that the lord will give you as he promised observe this ceremony Okay, observe one important ceremony until today. Uh, we are still celebrating it. Okay, verse 26. And when your children ask you, What does this ceremony mean to you? Then tell them, It is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt. Okay, and spare our homes for his struck down, struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bow down and worship God. So they have the fear of God. Then verse 28, the Israelite, what happened? Uh, now verse 20, my computer, okay. Uh, verse 29, okay. Verse 28, the Israelite did just what the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. Verse 29, at midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaohs who sat on the throne to the firstborn of the prisoners who was in the dungeons in prison, and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. So first of all, why did the Lord do that? It's because Pharaoh did not want the uh, Israelite who being living in Egypt for 400 years as slave, okay? The crowd to God, God heard them, came uh, down to help them, okay? Rescues them out of the, uh, out of Egypt, out of Babylon, out of Egypt, okay? Into the promised land. So in the wilderness, they, uh, they, they move in the wilderness 40 years before they enter the promised land. Now, before they could get out of Egypt, it was so difficult. You know, they got a lot of miracles happen, but the Pharaoh did not let go of the uh, of the Israelite. So finally, God had to do something that is not, I don't think God really wanted to do it, but somehow he had to do it in order uh, to rescue the Israelite. Okay, so what happened then? Uh, just now already say at midnight at night, you know, all the firstborn of the Egyptian from the throne of Pharaohs to the prisoners to the to the animals. Okay, animals uh, in the in the field. Now, and then that is called what happened is called Passover. Passover is uh, the Lord commanded 
the Israelite, okay, to put the lamb's blood, okay, sheep blood on the lamb post, so that when the angel of death pass by, these uh Israelites, uh, not Israel, yeah, Israelites firstborn, okay, will not be killed, but it passed by those without the the blood of the lamb, okay, the firstborn of the family will be killed. Now, I asked the Lord many years ago when I read up to here, and then the Lord revealed to me that these people die is not that, well, they're just out of breath, just no breathing and so on, but the soul and spirit, the Lord took them home. The Lord took them home, okay, took them home, and the body on earth here, but the soul and spirit been taken home, so they were secure. But then somehow the pharaohs and all those who lost their firstborn, of course they were mourning. Okay, and then what happened? These pharaohs and the Egyptian they asked the Israel out of our land. We want you to be out, out, out. Okay, you can take whatever you want. Okay, we want you to be out. But as you know, finally Israelite out. Then the Pharaoh sent the men, okay, military men, okay, to win after this uh, Israelite, right? So there is a time when the Israelite, the Lord opened the Red Sea and the Israelite just walked through the Red Sea to the other side. And what happened? The, uh, the Egyptians military behind, they were all drowned in the water, right? So what does it tell us? This one is confirmed with vision and uh and the and the words that i heard audible voice from the lord yesterday and the lord is revealed to, to us that in the past can you still remember moses time okay they killed all the baby boy all right and moses was hidden all right for three months all right and then the uh, the daughter of of pharaoh okay found this baby right and uh, as you know, all the time, Miriam, Miriam is the sister who look after the baby brother, okay, he's somewhere, and then one day they put, uh, how to say, uh, at the river there, okay, found Moses, baby Moses. So that was the first time all the babies were killed, all right, the baby boys. And then the second time, the second time was when Lord Jesus Christ was born, and all the all the baby boy were killed. Okay, there was two times. As you know, God is the beginning and the end. All right. So the first one done. Uh, not the first one. The baby boy we have been done. And then this time we come to the Israelite. Okay, out of Egypt, just like we has to be out of Egypt. So Egypt. Okay, is we we can say Babylon okay so we have to be out of Babylon we have to be out of Egypt into the promised land so during that time all the firstborn were killed okay were killed but then of course the soul and spirit were taken home okay to Abba Father we all came from the came from Abba Father came from Lord came from the Lord our Lord Jesus Christ came from God now this time the same thing is going to happen but a little bit different what is the all the baby and the children will be taken home with the body with the body okay because God say well there are too many, okay, I'm going to take them home straight away with the body, okay, with the body, so that, well, the, the uh, how to say, the people in this world, the left behind, okay, they will know that there's this true and living God who promised what he promised, who whose promise shall come to pass. So this time, out of Egypt, okay, before the Israel being able to be out of Egypt, all the first one of the Egyptian okay, will kill, will die, uh, die, okay, and the soul and spirit been taken home, but this time is the second time, all the children and baby will be taken home together with the body, and those who are ready, okay, in Christ Jesus, okay, like the is Israelite, okay, we are Israelite now, like the Israelite will be out of Egypt, out of this world, okay, so they got first time, there's the second time the god beginning and there is an end okay because our god is the beginning and the end so everybody let's look at the journal page i hope you can understand what i'm telling you all right that's what the lord give me the wisdom knowledge and i would like to share with you because that's my job 
Okay, and I'm so grateful that the Lord has given me this task to fulfill, to finish this recording, to tell you what the Lord wants you to hear in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's look at the journal page. As usual, we are expecting to go home on the 28th and 29th of July. All right. So let's look at the journal page on the right hand side. The uh the orange cloud is the three calendars together, and then below you would have a seven o'clock and five so that means july 29th and then four is 28th as you know uh, on the uh, 12 o'clock position or zero uh position is um, 24 okay the second round 24 uh, 24 and then 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, so it's the second round, second, no second round, third round already. Okay, second into third. Now you can see that 29 is upside down, and then 30 also upside down. It's a Chinese calendar, 30th upside down. That means heaven coming down, and it's in June. All right, so on the same at the same time, uh, on the same day, so. Uh, a circle, black circle, inside written down uh, six. So that is Chinese calendar, June the 30th, all right? It's uh, equivalent to our Gregorian calendar, July the 28th. And then those below were reviewed the day before, all right? So you can refer to it, and can you still, can you see the 28th in green? It's the West going home. And then I heard the word Zola, Zola means, uh, uh, let's go, uh, going home, okay, all is gone, all right, now, can we look at number one, number one is, I saw um, uh, a usual page, okay, like the journal sheets, all right, and then only one line of words, and then before that, there's a one, one full stop, and then one line of words, so one stand for one finishing, there's the days, the east and west going home, in the past, we saw on the first column there, okay, it's a long one, and they're divided into two, it's 18 and 19, so 18 and 19, if you add it to, to, to those below, or plus one, one can be 10, 10 plus 10 equal to 28 and 29. If it's uh, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, okay, 29. So uh, as vision before, a few times, 18 and 19, plus going down to 10, that means add another 10, right? So everybody, we are going home. Now, next one is, I saw the Lord peel off the bananas, only half of the bananas, and then the tip of the bananas uh, was cut off, okay, cut off. So the tips of the banana refer to the last two days of July, that is the 30th and 31st. And this half bananas is referring to July. And we are now in June, okay? We are already on this last bananas. One banana referred to uh, June and July, okay? Now we know, okay? So peel off the skin and show, show me, all right? And they show us uh, the last two days not involved, all right? We are going home on the 28th and 29th. And then, if you, yesterday I already showed you a vision, and then if we add up 28 and 29, is 57. 57 can be 5 plus 7 equal to 12. 12 is completion. It's fully complete, all right? Now, next one. I saw the Lord took out from a package, okay? From a package. And then I saw one piece of cheese, a rectangular cheese. And then later on, he took out another one. It's not... I mean, first one is a complete one, like it, it, it represents July 28th, 29th, up to 29th of July, okay? And the next one, he took out a shorter one, shorter one, because yesterday was already 12. 12 still remain 18 days to complete June, so it's 18 days. But then the first cheese is referring to July up to 29th, all right? So the second one, June, must be shorter. So that's why the second piece of cheese uh, was shorter, okay? So this refer to June and July. July is the last month. It's the perfect, seven is the perfect number of God. 
So it's divine completion. All right. So we are going home in July. At the end of July, it's not the very end, but the end. Now, next one, I saw the loads hang out from the east at three o'clock. I so I already said. Uh, there was about, I don't know, half years ago, one year ago, I saw Lord Je a vision of Lord Jesus Christ flying from east to west, okay? So his hand coming out, that means grace is coming. Grace is coming. So from east to west. And also 3 o'clock means finish, complete, and into. From 3 to 9, 9 stands for eternity, okay? Stand for eternity. And then next one, I saw a blue soup bowl light blue soup bowl inside the soup bowl they got about 40 plus something like this grapes little grapes all right or you can call it raisin and then uh so in other words they are the remaining days 40 over days now next one number four i saw the word how hi how how got six strokes high is 17 strokes how is six strokes so if you add them together all together is 29 strokes okay 29 strokes now next one uh how means good hi how means well all right so well doing well good okay we are coming to the final and next one i saw a pillar it's a white pillar white means purified means uh righteousness mean uh it's cleans okay it's cleans and then there's a tick above the pillar okay so if you are pure then you become the pillar and you're going home and the background is green color green means go so talking about the pillar okay next one i heard the lord say Da bang zhen. I think it's 大帮人, either 大帮人 or 大帮了, that means uh, a, lot, a huge number of people, okay, huge number of people, so that means the numbers is going to be fulfilled, right, next one, I heard the word pillar, just now I say I saw the pillar, right, white pillar, and I heard the voice say, I think it's about, uh, now, two minutes later, I heard uh, a large group of people, and then uh, 54, that means 18, 18, 18 minutes later, 18 minutes later, I heard the Lord, uh, I heard the Lord say, pillar, pillar, and then say, pillar, the, the is, is, what's the meaning of pillar, okay, so pillar, I saw pillar earlier, so then I heard the voice saying, pillar, what is pillar? So let's go to the Bible, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12, saying that the one who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the, in the temple of my God. All right. So what does it mean by pillar? Pillar means overcomers. So that means we have to persevere till the end, then to become overcomer. To be overcomer would become the pillar in the temple of God. Now, next one, I heard the voice, okay, before I slept, 1.48 uh, after midnight, I heard the voice saying, redacted, 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 first of all, I saw a video, and then, uh, there's a YouTube channel called redacted, okay, but I didn't really know the meaning, this channel, I seldom go to it, okay, really, I very seldom, I went to, into this redacted, but I heard the voice redacted, all right, redacted, and then, when I got up, I saw the word Chu, Chu means God, Lord, Lord, okay, so in other words, the Lord is saying, he is going to redact, redact, what, redact means to edit, to edit, okay, to edit, okay, so the Lord has put everything in his record, but he is going to edit something that, uh, I have said, or the Lord has told me to say, but he wants to do a little bit of addition, okay? Addict, all right? So what is it then? Now, I saw the vision with three lines of word, but uh, saying the last one is, and then they got some word behind, but I did not catch it. They saying that now you have to check your inside. I, I believe that it's talking about, 你们的, 你们的什么? your heart, okay? Check your heart. Check your action. Just like today we read the daily bread about action. Uh, actually, this daily bread was sent by my brother, uh, Hua Tiang, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. So it just matched the vision. Okay. Now saying, today you have to check yours. Yours what? 
check your heart, check your action, all right? And then next one, I saw Siu Tang De, but not this life. Okay, you have to, uh, to edit it, okay, to make it right for the eternity, but not this life. It's not this life. It's for the eternity, all right? Next one, I saw 我要喝的, okay, 不, 不走, okay. This remind me about Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, before he was crucified, he said to the Father, 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 please take, um, Father, uh, please take this cup of cup of bitterness away from me. But no, your will shall be done. Okay, I'll follow your will. I know it's really hard. Okay, but Father, I'll take your will. Okay, let it be fulfilled. So this, uh, the Lord said, this cup, this, uh, he, uh, ta, he was drinking this cup of suffering. All right. If he did not do it, okay, there won't be any rapture. There won't be into promised land. There won't be any salvation. In the same way today, okay, the Lord saying that, okay, he did it before. And today we also, no matter how difficult it is, we have to persevere to the end. You may go through, okay, sicknesses, illnesses, uh, you are in the wheelchair, or you have gone through blindness, or you cannot do much work, and, and you become a handicap or something, you still have to persevere. You have to trust, because the hour is near. The time of going home is close. When you hear all these things happening in the world, like COVID still non-stop, okay, you hear the war and rumors of war and it's really wars, okay, First World War, Second World War, and this war is going to be the continuity of the Second World War. If you go back to history, First World War extend to Second World War and then come to the Third World War, they are more or less the same, continue from the Second World War. You look at those. See, in the Second World War, China, People die, 18 millions die. And the Russia, 27 millions. And today, the West and the East, Japan and all that, they are still together. They want to kill the Russian. They want to kill the Chinese. They want to go to war with these two countries who lost the most, which lost the most people in the Second World War. It is the continuation, okay? Now, the Lord say, if you don't persevere, you don't follow as I did during this cup of suffering, you cannot go. You cannot go if you don't persevere till the end. Next one, uh, I heard the voice say, 我说的我病得这么痛, uh, uh, saying that I'm so sick, I'm so sick. Okay, the king referred to the Lord say, I'm so sick of this world. I'm so sick, okay? That can be from the Holy Spirit, from the Lord, from God. I'm so sick. And another meaning is the war is so sick, okay? So sick because it's against God, all right? This war is so sick. And then war here can refer to Lord Jesus say or God say, I'm so sick of this war, all right? And it can refer to us. We are saying, I'm so sick now. God, what can I do? How long, Lord? How oh, long, Lord? The Lord said, persevere to the end. Then you will be living this Babylon. You will live this Egypt, this wicked world, okay? Now, next one, remember, the devil is in charge of the world. So they can see what the wickedness, okay, in, in the world today. And they cannot stand uh, morality. They cannot, just like uh, Russia say, I want to stand on the side of God. I don't want LGBT. I don't want uh, this children okay go astray okay i don't want children to go into cult or people into cult a, against god and so on okay i do not want an exi okay i do not an exi is all over the western hemisphere even in some part of the east all right is the is the army of the beast system and you know the nato nato okay is the military of the beast system Okay, so how many countries in NATO now want to include the include the East, the Japan, the Korean, Korea, and, and maybe some other country in the East? So in the whole world, 
The Bible say it's 220 million. Yes, 220 million easily go to that number. It's not China. It's not Russia. It's the beast system. Okay, NATO. Now, next one saying that wo, wo da, wo is seven stroke, wo da is seven plus eight stroke is 15. So that means July into the promised land, July into rest. All right. So, in, a, in other words, the Lord said, This world is so sick. I'm so sick of this world. Okay. You have to persevere to the end. The, the cup that I'm drinking, if you have to drink it, drink it. Okay. To persevere, then you can leave this world to the promised land. Okay. This Babylon. If you don't, you cannot go. Right. Next one. Nisu the small. Okay. So, what you are saying is a cost. It's a cost. Okay, so it is costly. It is costly. It is costly for the Lord. It is costly for us. All right. So the Lord already say, uh, the miracle that I have done, you will do it greater. And the Lord said, if I go through all this persecution, what to say you who are my disciples, you will go through as well. So the, the Bible is the truth. And when the Bible say this is going to happen, it's going to happen. So we are going to get ready. We are getting ready before the very end. Okay. All the judgment coming down. So we have to leave this Babylon. We have to leave Egypt. Okay. Into the promise. Like, please remember what the Lord has been telling us today. All right. And he is a glorious God. All right. And full of how to say Chinese say we and in Chinese uh in English is uh is a fearful God, yeah, that we should fear God. Fear God, it doesn't oh I'm so scared of you, God. I'm so scared. You no, no, no. It's Lord, I respect you. I know what you say shall come to pass. I really know that you are Almighty God, and I'm just mere uh servant of of God. I'm just mere man. I'm only man, Lord. I'm only so uh made of soil. I'm just like the dust and the worm, and you are the Almighty God. So everybody remember to be humble before God, before man. Let's get ready to go home. Amen.